Hello everyone, this is Saad Ahmed and in this video we are going to learn how to create a professional resume uh, in Adobe Illustrator. In this tutorial we will be using some basic shapes and with the help of some basic tools and with the help of these tools we are going to create a professional resume. So to begin with I will be creating some rectangles using the rectangle tool. Okay, before that I would like to tell you that these are the three colors that we will be using for creating a sample resume. So let's start. We have grabbed the rectangle tool and create a rectangle over here like this. Okay, and then create a duplicate rectangle by holding alt key and simply drag this shape. So it will create a duplicate object. and we can drag it like this this will be the sidebar where we will be placing our text and we can color it with this black color by simply pressing the i key and it will select the eyedropper tool and click on this color so it will change the color into this and i don't want to keep the background color as white so I will be putting some gray shade behind this object create a rectangle uh, using the rectangle tool create a shape and then press ctrl shift left square bracket so it will send the layer to the back and now you can simply change the color as per your requirement so I have chosen the lightest gray color for the background okay. and now I am locking this layer by using the shortcut ctrl plus Okay, so in this region, I am going to place the image. So I have this image. So I will be placing the image in this box. So first of all, select the ellipse tool, create a circle like this. Okay, and create another duplicate by holding the alt key and scale the image put it inside the circle and select both shapes right click and click on make clipping mask so it will clip the image like this okay now click here and click on this uh, object another click on this object and from here in the alignment panel click horizontal align center so it will place the image exactly at the center of the created circle okay uh, let's scale it down a bit and change the fill to stroke and selecting this shape simply increase the stroke width like, like this okay now we have placed the image and now select these shapes and press ctrl G for group Click on this object, another click and click on vertical align center. So basically it has put the image in the center of this object. Okay, let's start with the main title. Press type tool, click on the artboard and write name. Drag it like this, scale it up and use the font as per your requirements or liking i am using the font roboto roboto black roboto bold okay and changing its color to blue right now grab the pen tool with the shortcut p and simply create a line like this and change the fill to stroke like this and use the color the light gray for this one so i select this shape simply go to this object and press shift and click on this object so it will change the color of this line okay now creating a duplicate another like this and scaling it down here we am and change its color to gray color that we decided earlier Okay, 
for this i am going to choose the uh, let's select thin and here you have to write the title like i'm going to type graphic designer video editor and animator okay and now from here you can simply scale it down you can also adjust the length of the line we can also adjust the thickness of this line we can also add stroke to this title to make it a more prominent so what we need to do we have to copy the color and select this title go to stroke and press and paste it and from here you can reduce the width or thickness of the stroke so now uh, our title is ready now let's add some contact details so grab the rectangle tool create a rectangle bar and change its opacity to around 20 or we can change it to 15 okay 15 looks fine okay now we have some icons over here uh, i have already taught in my previous videos as how to create these icons so i will be explaining in this video as well so let's put these vector icons here and proceed so once again i am duplicating this text layer and for this i am going to use roboto bold with the size of 18 and i am going to write the heading experience remove this stroke okay now duplicate this line as well and extend it to the right because we are going to uh, write a lot of text in this section here is our experience section okay now uh, I am going to create a rectangle box and with the eyedropper tool I am going to color it with blue color and simply dragging this text and scale scaling it down using the paragraph option aligning center select both shapes click on the rectangle shape and horizontal align center so it will place the text in the middle and i have changed the color of the text by simply selecting the eyedropper tool now change its text to uh, the time period okay creating another duplicate by simply dragging this text by holding the alt key and use align left and with the help of eyedropper tool click on the main text okay now we have to reduce the size of it as well let's keep it to 16 now creating another category that might be the last one on this side and that will be we can rename it to personal interest or you may write it as hobbies okay so here we are going to add some few few more icons and how to create these icons let's study once again basically this is the image that you can grab from the internet and simply what you need to do 
simply click on as you select the image there is an option appear that is the image trace so click on that create image trace it has basically traced the image and then click on the expand option okay now ungroup all the objects in it by pressing ctrl shift and g multiple times okay now grab the magic wand tool from here and click on this white portion as you click on the white portion it will only select the white portion and deselect every other portion and simply then press delete so the icon will be automatically created and you can simply move it or place it wherever you want so this is the sh shortest and the easiest method to create icons so in the same way i have created some more icons and here they are i have already placed in my artboard by following the same method i have done, done that and here is the interest section text and the body text and create another duplicate like this let's change to pro skills and let's change the text to adopt photoshop so basically in this category i am going to set the level of my expertise out of 100 so what i have to do i have to grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle bar like this okay now press ctrl c and ctrl f so it has created a duplicate layer over this object and change its color to blue and click on it and simply you can rate wherever your expertise stand now select both of these shapes and using the alt key drag it and press ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d so basically we have created uh, four to five categories or whatever uh, is your preference you can create and here it is a very nice and a professional resume is ready thanks for watching